afternoon. It is an awesome Sunday here in Sydney, so I thought I'd go for a run. And just in the middle of my warm up now, so doing a bit of stretching. With my choosing to have minimal type shoes, you've got to make sure that you warm up correctly, uh, including, um, so doing a small warm up, uh, 500 meters to a kilometer, something like that. Then doing some stretching, making sure you stretch out all the bits and pieces. Where I live and where I'm running along uh, is right next to something called Hawthorne Canal. So it's this uh, canal here, um, which allows water to flow. It's not necessarily the cleanest canal, so you, know, you definitely wouldn't want to go swimming in here. But it is kind of nice to be running near water. And then if you go further along down the canal, you get to the Bay Run where you run around a bay. Uh, that's a really, really nice run. If you ever get a chance to go to Sydney, the Bay Run is a great place to go for a run. So it's been five weeks now since I broke my toe. Uh, and unfortunately, yes, it is still broken. Uh, I can bend it sort of in this way. That's fine. It's a little toe that's broken. So I can bend it that way. I can sort of widen my feet a little but if I were to scrunch, if I were to scrunch my toes, that's when it starts hurting. So I try and avoid to scrunch or even point my toes where possible because it just hurts. Uh, now it's five weeks since I did the break. So really it should be feeling a bit better by now. I'm not sure if this is normal or not, but yeah, it's still not 100%. But luckily it is at a state where I can actually run on it. Uh, because I can bend it in this direction, but not in this direction, that's okay for the majority of running. Now, unfortunately, I do have some sad news. Uh, the six foot track marathon here in Australia in 2020 has been officially cancelled. There are two main access ways uh, to the finish line at Janolan Caves for the six foot track marathon. Uh, one of them is, uh, I think it's five mile hill or six mile hill or whatever it's called. That access way is closed indefinitely at the moment with risk of landslide. The second access way is a lot smaller and a lot narrower and a lot more zigzaggy and unfortunately not safe for buses or large transport vehicles to go up. So unfortunately for the safety of the entrance, because uh, they were going to transport everyone back from Janolan Caves, uh, they can't do it anymore. So they've had to cancel the race officially. So unfortunately that is going to leave a lot of people uh, very unhappy about the race, especially of the race committee. They've been putting in so much effort to try and get this race happening, especially with all the bushfires and floods and everything that have been happening over the last few months. And it all looked like it was going to be okay, but then that downpour happened and it just made everything too risky on the access way through to the six foot track marathon. And they had to make a decision, but it's for the safety of all the people who are entered into the race. They do have a cancellation policy procedure for the event where an event is canceled beyond people's control like this. So what will happen now is there will be no cancellations processed just yet. So you can't cancel your entry anymore due to the race being canceled. Quick little update because uh, the race committee has released a couple of updates. They've mentioned that there will be just over about a 50% or just over 50% refund offered. Uh, some of the entry costs that you provided goes towards the admin fees for everything that has happened so far and some was already a levy that was going towards the rural fire service so that is not going to be removed from their donation. And what they have allowed is that you can actually choose how your donation is going to be spent. So you can either choose to have it as 100% of the refundable amount goes back to you, back to the card that you paid for the event on, or 
you can choose to donate the um, what would be refunded back to you. Donate it entirely to the Rural Fire Service, which of course is what they would recommend. But you can entirely choose not to do that. That is perfectly fine. All participants, regardless of whether or not you're getting the full refund or if you're donating to the Rural Fire Service, will get preferred status entry for the 2021 race. And no, the 2021 race will not have any discounts. You will still need to qualify for the 2021 race, but because of all of this, they are extending the qualification back to the six foot track marathon in 2019. So pretty much if you qualified for the 2020 six foot track marathon, then you'll be fine for the 2021 six foot track marathon. Another thing that they were not able to stop is of course they'd already purchased all the merch, all the bags, all the gear and all of that. So you still have allocated to you a bag for your entry and you can pick that up. You also, if you had purchased a shirt, those will be definitely mailed out to you if you can't pick them up in person. They will have a collection day for the bag. Just about to upload the video and there has been another email update. So they've just mentioned that due to coronavirus, the pickup of the bags and race gear is gonna be delayed anyway. So they will likely hold an event to pick up the bags and race gear or whatever. Uh, in Sydney, possibly in the Blue Mountains as well, they will let us know as soon as they know. So keep an eye on your email. They are just not having very good luck at the moment. And at this event, you can also pick up other race merch from this year's event that didn't happen, or you can also purchase merch from the previous years. In their email, they have strongly encouraged you to not cancel your plans to visit the Blue Mountains. If you were going to visit the Blue Mountains, they really need the tourism and the people to go there. Unfortunately, this event isn't happening, but that shouldn't be able to stop you from visiting the Blue Mountains, going camping and having a great weekend. End, maybe even doing your own individual trail run. After all, the main reason that this event was cancelled was simply because Five Mile Hill, which was the main access way up to Janolan Caves, has been indefinitely closed due to risk of landslides, but all the rest of the roads that go through Janolan Caves, they're still open, they're still good to go. They just can't necessarily fit buck buses and shuttles and other larger vehicles. Another thing that has been offered, which is kind of awesome, is that other races around New South Wales have offered discounts to their races between 20 to 50% off the entry fee uh, for all entrants of the Six Foot Track Marathon 2020. Now, I will not be putting the codes in the description box below or anything like that. I'm not going to provide the codes. They are specifically just for people who had entered the Six Foot Track Marathon. So if you had entered the 2020 Six Foot Track Marathon and your entry has been cancelled like mine, then check your email. They will be there somewhere. So some of these races that have discount codes include the Orange Running Festival, uh, the Summit Shoal Haven on 26th of July, the Lakes 100 on the 3rd to 5th of July, the Buffalo Stampede Marathon on the 3rd to 5th of April, and the Roller Coaster 43K on the 18th of April. And the Orange Running Festival is this weekend in Orange, and that is that's one that actually has a 50% discount. So if you want to go to that get in as soon as possible. All right, enough of the update. Now back to me earlier. And I just want to commend the communication that has happened in regards to this race. Uh, a lot of other uh, organizers may not send out emails or whatever, but these race organizers, every week or two, there was some sort of update letting us know what is the status of whether it's going ahead or whether it's not going ahead because this race has been that area has just been attacked by fire and water and it's just been a roller coaster ride and i really want to commend the race committee for their amount of communication and inclusiveness to let us know what is happening and what the current status is and for me this is probably a blessing in disguise since i've had my broken toe for the last month uh, I haven't been able to do nearly enough training and by doing the six foot track marathon I probably would have caused myself an injury so this just gives me that chance to recover properly of course I'm doing some small runs but so that I don't have to push myself to do a 45 kilometer trail run 100% I will be doing the six foot track marathon next year and so I'm going to make sure that I don't break my toe a month before the race so that I am properly and adequately prepared for the race next year.
and what I am going to try and do is also enter myself into another trail run this year obviously something a little bit shorter distance maybe not the full 45k uh, there's a few interesting ones one of the ones which gets my attention is the glowworm trail trail run I think there's a few different options you can do like about a 10 20 or 35k I think is the longest one um, but they all look pretty awesome so that I think is going to be my next event and that event I believe is in late May so I do have a little while to prepare for it get my legs ready make sure that my Achilles are ready make sure that I've done an appropriate amount of training in the lead up to that event all right well I'm at four and a bit kilometers so I'm gonna finish it up at five kilometers getting home thanks for watching if you want more swim bike run and exercise content every week from here in Australia then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one cheerio